Hello, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm here in Somerset, or Somerset, as they say it around here. And I'm basically going to be painting my dad building a duck house in the garden. So uh, painting is quite a good way of getting out of the household chores because uh, you can just kind of stand behind the easel and paint people at work. So it should be quite an interesting thing to paint, a bit different to the subject matter I've been painting recently in London so um, but yeah I'm just gonna hop over this gate so so before I begin sketching my composition I've toned my canvas with a warm imprimatur I find having a toned canvas really helpful, especially when painting alla prima, which is Italian for in one attempt. So I'm going to try and finish this painting in one go. And as this is a very quick and direct way of working, sometimes areas of the canvas can show through. So having a tone to this can actually look quite nice. However, if I just leave the canvas as white and those areas show through, it's going to be really quite distracting. So you may be wondering, why have I divided my canvas into ninths? Well, there's a compositional trick or guideline which a lot of artists and photographers use, known as the rule of thirds, which claims the best place to position a focal point is on any of the corners of the middle square where the lines cross. So basically, you don't want to place the focal point bang in the middle of your painting, because this can make the image a bit boring. But also you don't want to place the focal point too close to the edge as the composition will become a bit unbalanced and also if it's close to the edge it can lead the viewer's eyes out of the painting and what you really want is for the viewer's eyes to kind of look around and move around the painting so basically anywhere around that sort of border of the middle square or rectangle i guess will work nicely to paint any points of visual interest or your focal point. So I've decided to paint my dad's head right in the top right hand corner of the middle rectangle. Here I'm massing in the general colours and values of the grass and the duck house. I start with the darkest areas and I'm keeping the paint very thin so that it's easier to layer on top of this as I add more detail. One thing that I've done to bring more focus to my dad's head is I've lowered the contour of the distant hills so that they point to my dad's head whereas in nature this contour of the hills runs unbroken above his head so by changing this it makes my focal point much stronger and much clearer I mix a separate mix for the light areas on the grass I really want to capture that bright chromatic appearance that the grass has when the sunlight hits it. So I'm using quite a bit of cadmium yellow, a touch of fallow green and a touch of titanium white just to give the grass that real glow. I'm also applying the paint in the lights quite a bit thicker than I did when I painted the shadows. In order to help create a sense of depth in the scene, I'm keeping the details in the background hills to a minimum. Also due to atmospheric perspective, the hills in the background appear greyer and in general colder in colour than the grass in the foreground or the midground. I'm also downplaying any of the value shifts that I can see when I look at the hills in order to help add to this sense of depth. As I start to refine the portrait, I'm using very small synthetic brushes. I'm really trying to capture the likeness by getting the big shadow shape right and I'm not trying to draw any really fine details like the eyes or things like that but if I can get this shape with the eye sockets and the shape of the cheek and the shadow under the nose um, that will be enough to get the likeness. So right here my parents dog Tilly has just got out of the pond and in her attempt to dry herself she's flicked water at me and some of this water has got on my painting. But the nice thing about oil paint is that water and oil paint won't mix so you don't want to try and wipe it off because that will just smudge the paint underneath. The best thing to do is just to leave the water to dry on its own accord.
So the sky has been changing quite a bit as I've been painting, but every now and then some really big dramatic clouds which are catching the light come into the sky which look really nice and I'm going to try and capture these. I'm also designing the composition of the sky so that it points towards my dad's head and this way the composition will contribute to that focal point and make for a more interesting and eye-catching painting. So how's uh, building the duck house gone today? Oh, it's gone, gone quite well. So it's had a life, this duck house has. Um, it was brutally taken apart at one point, where cut with a, um, looked like a jigsaw into pieces, and then put back together again. So when we put it back together here, we've had to do a bit of remaking. Um, but it's got a flip up door, so you can get in and clean out the, the ducks. Seals down and then it's got a little bolt to keep them safe, hopefully. And then it's got a, a gate for the ducks to come in and out, like a little sliding kind of portcullis gate. Um, and just the last thing now, we need to turn it round so it faces towards the lake and away from the prevailing weather. Yep, well, all done in a day's work and it looks rather good. What do you think about it, Tilly? Yeah, I thought that's what you thought. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed that video of me painting my dad uh, here in Somerset. And it got a bit cold, but it was really nice to be outside. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also click the notification bell so that you're notified about when I make new videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at George Thomas Artist. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.